Hayspace.com. We're really fortunate to have Katie Coleman and Mike Massimino, both advisors on gravity and two of their space-suited friends looking over our shoulders. So, you guys, on a real space mission, which is worse? The thought that you might die in space today or the thought that you might screw up catastrophically and everyone on Earth is going to know it and you're going to live the rest of your life with everybody saying that. <laughs> mm. You know, I will tell you that Tough choice. we all make mistakes and, and you can always serve as a bad example, right? Mm -hmm. But it's human. And so that part, I say that part, everybody's got to live with that. You know, you can only do your best and if you make a mistake, you know, you were doing your best. As long as you did your best to be ready, that's the way it goes. But, it, you know, in the process, I mean, there we are in this amazing place on this space station that is like a palace. We never quite see the palace in the movie, mm -hmm. but it's an amazing place. And to have six people working up there every day and to have been one of them, to have a guy that fixes telescopes that we're going to look through forever. Well, at least until they stop working. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so There's no warranty on the work, by the way. <laughs> yeah. You've spent 180 days in space, 159 of them on that beautiful palace space station. Mass, not so much long duration, but you've had a couple of intense, long duration, exhausting EVAs. Yeah. So, like, is there ever a time for either of you when that little thought, what the heck am I doing here? I should be at home with my family, happens? Not when I was there, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, 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 it's such a great experience, Dave, is... is you know, and you miss your family, and you know you, you can stay in somewhat contact with them. But uh, now, when you, when you're up there, it's a pretty pretty special experience. I haven't been up there as long as Katie has, but for the two weeks at a time that I was there, you know, we miss our family. But you know, you're with your space family up there, and you know your family's watching and doing their thing on the ground, and uh, you know, you're you're pretty happy to be there. It's just an extraordinary experience. It kind of takes takes all the rest of it out of there. Mm -hmm. And for you, Katie? And plus just the mission. I think the mission is just this overriding thing where whether you're fixing the Hubble, which is going to bring us these great insights from the universe, or you're up there doing space station experiments, it takes a long time to get good at it. Maybe at least a month, I would say, of living on orbit until you feel like you are productive. And it is so clear when you're up there how much work there is to do and how little time there is to do it that I felt bad leaving. I would have stayed an extra six months in a minute. And I talked about it with my family. There were some questions that came up. And, you know, they, they understood. I mean, I'd be home when I got home, but what we're doing is really important up there. And there's also a lot of other people around the world doing big sacrifices, and they're not on places that are as amazing as the International Space Station. Very for, for well my, for, for my family, two weeks was probably too short. <laughs> you know, like, what, what's the rush? Keep them up there. You know, when I got back, my son, my son said to me at one point, he's like, Mom, I liked it better when you were in space. Whoa. And I was like, ooh. I mean, you know, I was Rotten crushed, kids. right? I said, sweetie, you are still going to have to wear your helmet and your knee pads. Good for you. Well, they know how to get to you. <laughs> they do. Dr. Coleman, Dr. Massimino, thank you so much. You're welcome, Dave. And for Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. Space.com.